and welcome to AF Math and Engineering. If you're enjoying our channel, hit the subscribe button and the like button down below because we're always releasing new content. Enjoy! Hi everybody, this is Avi from AF Math. This is our sixth video on project management and our second video on the president's network or diagram, depends what your book or professor likes to call it. And in the previous video, we discussed the definition of a president's uh, network and we discussed these four main concepts which are vital to understand the subject. Then we continued on to solve this example. So if you want to solve it on your own, you can try to solve it on your own. If you solve it in the previous video, I'm just going to write the answers here right away. And what we are going to do in this video is to take this example and these numbers that we got in the previous video and show some new concepts and some new things that we want to calculate that will make our life even easier. Now let us further expand this table with three new concepts. DRF, URF, and SRF. Now, the DRF, double restricted float, is the amount of time we can delay the start time of an activity after it has started on its critical path. Then also finish on the critical finish date without delaying the entire project. This occurs when we combine start to start and finish to finish together. Unrestricted floats, URF, the amount of time we can delay all or part of the activity without delaying the entire project. And our start restricted flows, the SRF, is the amount of time we can delay the start time of an activity after it has started on its critical path without delaying the entire project. So take a minute, pause the video, read the definitions yourself, kind of understand it, and we'll build it from there. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about equations. And starting with the DRF, the equation for the DRF is EF minus LS minus the duration. If our answer is smaller than zero, we just use zero because again, we have no negative activities. We have no negative numbers in this theory. Now let's take activity A for example. And activity A had a duration of 10 days. Here is our early start, early finish, late start, late finish. And let's use the equation. EF equals 8, LS equals 0, and duration is 10, and our answer is minus 2. So minus 2 equals 0, and our DRF is 0. Now pay attention. This is the important part. If DRF equals 0, we use the following equations for URF and SRF. URF equals the minimum of LS minus ES or LF minus EF. And as I explained before, we calculate both and we pick the smaller of the two. This is what this minimum actually says. And SRF equals the absolute value. Absolute just means positive of LS minus ES minus LF minus EF. So it's basically these two equations again, just with a minus sign between them and absolute value brackets. So keep your answers close. So let's say we take activity A again. LS minus ES equals zero minus zero, or eight minus eight, which are both equal zero. So here we don't need to think too much. And our SRF is zero minus zero, which is just zero. So now let's go back to the solution for example one. We can start solving for all the DRFs. And again, here is our equation and you can start doing it on your own. We already solved for A. I have no idea why this table is not straight, but maybe we'll try to fix it a bit later. Now I want you to pause the video don't be lazy, pause the video and start solving the DRF on your own and see that you are getting the correct answers. I'm going to just write the answers here one by one in three seconds from now. So our answer for B is minus nine, 
I'll answer for C, minus 17, D, minus 6, E, minus 7, F, minus 20, G, minus 3, and H, 0. Because all of these answers are negative, we're going to use BAN, 0. Okay? And now, as DRF equals 0, we use the following equations. URF, we use this equation, and SRF, we use this equation. Now again, pause the video, solve the URF on your own, and I'm going to write all the answers here in a few minutes. Don't forget to pick the smaller of the two. The answers for URF, and now try to do the same thing for the SRF. And here's the answers for the SRF. And we got our table filled. Now, I know what you think, but what happens if DRF doesn't equal zero? Then what do we do? Well, if DRF doesn't equal zero, if it's smaller than zero, we still use zero, so it's the same. But if DRF is bigger than zero, we use the following equations. URF stays exactly the same equation. Nothing changes. However, for SRF, we use this equation. The maximum, the bigger number from LF minus LS or EF minus ES minus duration minus DRF. Okay? I've changed the duration to 7, so we'll get different numbers. Our DRF equals 8 minus 7, which equals 1 which means that our DRF is bigger than zero. And now we are going to use the same equation for URF. And we need to pick between zero or zero, so we just pick zero. And for our SRF, we are going to use our new equation, which is eight minus zero, or eight minus zero, minus seven, minus one. Again, we don't really need to think here, but in some equations you will need to pick the bigger number of the two and our answer is just going to be zero. So here is our new table, our DRF is one, our URF is zero and our SRF is zero. Now what I would advise you to do is to try and change the numbers and try to solve it a bit on your own just to see that you kind of get the grasp for it and basically this is all you need to know for the precedence diagram or network and we are going to take it to the next level in the next video stay tuned